Yo, Tom, what is up? Take us home. How was your flight, by the way, Tom? Because the thing is, like, it was weird. I, like, we should have just stick to the plan and ate before doing anything else. But I really wanted to go to the bathroom, so I understand you, like, uh, doing other stuff um, before. But yeah, like, um, it was shit, damn. Just ended up cheating, uh, talking, uh, chatting, and decided to check Twitch. And here we are, still get some pie. No, like you literally started messaging me on on Discord the moment that I that I was. Oh yeah, I want to I want to stream. You landed at 3 a.m. Then, oof. So the the flight got very late, I guess. Um, but yeah, what I was saying. Um, we should have stick to the plan and um, just. Go and eat uh, like to the to the um, Burger King or something, uh, because you know I besides the the fucking mini pancake that they give you in the in the queue, um, and you know like the the hundred millimeter iced tea and the water. Um, besides that, I didn't get anything. Well, I did get an, a a cola, I guess, but yeah, like I didn't eat anything besides the pancake. Uh, since like <laughs> since like the morning man like since like 12 something when we ate the at that um, at that place uh, next to the hotel man anyways anyways um we should stick to the plan because i just arrived and i was so hungry um by the way do you feel any kind of sick or something because i kind of felt a little bit sick um i got the test i did not test positive um, but we're gonna redo it again because it might be because it's still too weak. I just feel a bit sick and I didn't eat very well. But yeah, um, shall, uh, shall we like uh, recap a little bit the, the events? Okay. So, uh, before, the day before we, uh, well, I went to, to Amsterdam or whatever, uh, I basically like came back from tennis, you know, took a shower, eat dinner, and tried to sleep as soon as possible. And I had the, the flight at 7 something, I think it was. So I was uh, supposed to wake up at like 5.15. Um, and I tried to, to sleep, but I, I couldn't. I couldn't until I, it was like past 4.30 or something like that. I, it was Basically, I slept around half an hour or less uh it was pretty fucking shit <laughs> so yeah then i took the flight everything went okay like no no problems there um uh what does the text on my time top say uh i actually don't know let me let me check uh rio adventures On Cobado hike, exploring the world, South America, going down the trail, down ultimate hike. I don't know. I just took it because it was okay. Like I, I didn't really pay too much attention to it. I just liked it overall. I, I've not been to South America yet. Um, yeah, like have not been to South America. I have not been to south of anything actually. Like I, I haven't. I've gotten quote-unquote close to the Ecuador, but I have it not below it. Um, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, like I took the flight, no problems there, but the thing is, um, I had to use my mother's card for the first part of the first day, because I didn't remember, because I never use it IRL, like I didn't remember the code for my, uh, you know, the pin for my car. So, you know, I I checked, uh, well, I saw where to check it later, because I didn't, it's kind of not very intuitive the app for the card, but whatever. Um, and yeah, I had to use the, the metro, well, the train and then the metro, because uh, Sanity Noob had uh, an issue with the car, uh, apparently, like uh, part of the cable of the clutch or something like that, like it broke. So I had to mess around with that. 
I went to the hotel, left things there. It was kind of... Yours is easy to remember? M mine is easy to remember as well. But it's been years since I last used it. Like, that's why, like, I, when I'm home, like, when, when I'm here, like, I never use it. I never have to. I mean, I could use this, but I don't. <laughs> I only use it on travels. Pretty much. Um, but yeah. <laughs> I just prefer... I, I prefer the going by cash. Almost always. Anyways. Um, went to the hotel, left things there. Um, they had some issue with the... Uh, well, not issue, some random... It was kind of weird. Because... You had to take the key to get uh, to go to the place where you can leave things because you know I couldn't check in because I, it wasn't at my name it was at Serenity's name. So yeah. Anyways, um, some girls uh, went to the to the storage room to leave their things there. Uh, so I had to basically go after them and uh, you know let them uh, know that I wanted to use the storage room, get the key and whatnot. They were nowhere to be seen, so I had to ask someone else to, to open it for me. And, you know, whatever. It's it's whatever, it's just a, ne a small anecdote, nothing too big. But yeah, um, after that I went, to, I went to the event. Well, it wasn't the event yet, it was just uh, getting the badge. Shelot uh, and uh, Pim, the Mac, were there already. Um, and I just basically like just um, joined them where they were, uh, skipping a, a bit of the queue. They were there for quite a while, um, overall in, in total, and I was there for quite a bit, not as much. But yeah, we got the things, you know, saw a bunch of people, uh, but you know, I couldn't recognize anyone. <laughs> um, and yeah, after that, uh, what was it? Oh yeah, I took waiting around for like, I don't know how long before um, uh, Hidden Orgy and other people came uh, because and they said, oh yeah, we were going to do the hotel and then we're going to eat and whatever, and whatever. And I said, oh yeah, sure. Like, uh, just, uh, I'll, I'll be here. I meanwhile, just uh, come back quick and whatnot. Um, apparently, uh, they had to uh, charge completely all the, the phones because Pim had two. And Tim, who had two phones, didn't have quick um, charge, so they took forever. So I had, uh, if I had known that, I would have done something else. But uh, they didn't tell me until I was already like for over an hour there. So yeah. Anyways, uh, me then the waiting guy. Anyways, um, after that we we hung around for quite a while uh, with. Um, so we uh, it was me, Delot, Pim. Hidden Oji, who was around but wasn't in, in the event. Um, Arcas and Serenity. Um, after a while, uh, Arcas said, you know what, I'm just gonna um, go do my thing. And his thing is like drinking somewhere. Um, but yeah, we, we, still got, uh, we were into a bar, we drank a little bit, not much. I, did, I never got drunk. At any point in the trial, and uh, you know, while I was in Amsterdam, I never intended to either. So, um, going to a bar, yeah, like uh, it's just a British thing, it's like the tradition they have to go to every bar in the, in the city. Um, but yeah, like uh, after that, uh, went with uh, Serenity and Arcas. No, 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 not, not Arcas, of course, not Arcas. Went with Serenity to the to the hotel. Kidenoji also left, and you know, uh, Shiro and Pim went to the, their own hotel. So I went to, with Serenity uh, to the hotel with his car because they repaired it. It was like a s small thing. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know what we did exactly. Uh, besides doing like just, I think we just set up a little bit, and that's it. Then he went to uh, find Tom at the airport because his uh, flight was super delayed, and <laughs> you know it's it's kind of funny when I think about it. It's like I was thinking they're gonna arrive super late, 
and you know I kind of want uh, to sleep as much as possible because I haven't slept yesterday basically uh, and, and just said you know what I'm just gonna make your beds uh, so I made Tom's and Arca's beds um, honestly <laughs> It was a bit harder than I thought because uh, the fucking it was not nice to to make the beds, but whatever. Um, it wasn't a big deal. I just prefer to sleep more because you know otherwise we would have arrived and made the beds, and you know it takes longer for me to go to sleep. Uh, but yeah, after Tom, yeah, 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 fucking planes. Uh, yeah, what I was saying. Um, after Tom and Trinity came back. Um, we went to sleep. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I mainly did it just to save time, man. Like I'm a speedrunner, and I need to optimize. I feel like it's just like just me wanted to optimize things, and that's why I'm a speedrunner. But whatever. Anyways, um, after we went to sleep, turns out that Arcas arrived at like around six a.m. And went to sleep. So like I, I knew that uh, he arrived very late, but uh, because I, I woke up, like I honestly I have a pretty light sleep. Um, I tend to sleep a lot, but you know I didn't do that much in this uh, in this travel, and uh, you know I have a light sleep always. Uh, anyways, uh, so I don't know how many hours he slept uh, in total, but uh, you know what's funny? Another thing that it's funny. Is that I was the one that woke up first and tried to uh, wake up the others. That is new for me. <laughs> so it's kind of it's it's kind of funny. I'm always the one that sleeps more, uh, but not this time. So you guys have been me there. Uh, I mean, I wanted to, to you know make the most of the day, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, after after the waking up, we, me and Serenity uh, ate uh, breakfast. You, what is up, Anup? Welcome. We just sleep deep, then. <laughs> uh, we went to take breakfast. Uh, Tom wanted to sleep more, and he missed breakfast. Uh, so uh, I don't know what you did exactly. You ate something else somewhere. I don't remember. Uh, but yeah, Arcas was there sleeping, obviously, because he he started sleeping at 6 a.m. and then he woke up a little bit uh, with uh, when we woke up. Uh, so yeah, anyways, he joined us later. But after that, we went to the event, and you know, in the event, the pizza. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I see. In the event, uh, we joined with uh, Shelot and Pim. Uh, we did some shenanigans there. Honestly, I think more things happened outside of the event than inside the event for for me. I think I, I should have done things slightly different. Um, but yeah, um, we did uh, in the event. I'm just gonna do like just say what happened today and well, not today uh, on Saturday and Sunday as like more or less the same thing because. It's gonna be easier for me to narrate it and the events that way, and I don't really remember exactly uh, if I did one thing uh, one day or the other day. But yeah, basically, uh, what was it like? We did the bull riding, which was bullshit because if if the guy who was controlling the bull wanted to to throw you off, he was gonna throw you off. I I'm not bad at the bull riding, I assure you that, and. Like basically, he did like the soundly. He was uh, he did the the kick, you know, the, like the movement of where it, where the the bull kicks and goes forward like that, and you know, ups uh, his butt. And then right after that, it started spinning like really hard. And I tried to hold on with the legs, uh, but I, I just couldn't really hold on to get uh, at all. Like I I almost held on. I that's the thing. I almost held on. Uh, but yeah, like basically I was a uh, super angle, so I was already in a bad position for the rest And you know, when you're in a really in a, in a bad position so soon, it's like just whatever just leave um, But yeah after after I I left the, the the bull riding thing was 
like my my leg hurt a little bit. Obviously, I didn't hurt my leg, but uh, you know, it, it it did some some pretty important work right there. Um, the good thing is that we we left with uh, some uh, like wristbands. I don't have it right here because I used it yesterday on tennis. Pretty useful, uh, but I sweat too much and it, it like after. 10 20 minutes like that uh, it's already like soaked but yeah pretty useful i haven't really used the uh, wristbands before i think uh i don't know i'm just trying to just do things normally but yeah anyways uh yeah story time what is that for tea? uh besides that we also did uh, oh yeah i'm gonna wait for that um we did some competition with the uh, with the discs, uh, you know, air hockey. You had to wear that weekend so much. Honestly, if I were to say, like, I prefer, unless I somehow get to partner, I'm not gonna try hard to partner. I am done doing that. But you know, if it happens, it happens. Um, unless I get to partner, I don't really think I'm gonna get uh, to TwitchCon. I don't know. It's just. Uh, Maybe if it's closer, maybe it's like, eh, I don't know. If, if they do Twitch can in Barcelona, that would be great, but I don't think so. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Like, if I don't get partnered, I feel like it's not the same. Anyways, uh, I prefer to just do like an event you know, like with people that I know. It's going to be easier. I don't know. Um, so yeah, we did an air hockey competition between me, uh, Serenity, and Tom. Uh, I lost the first two matches against Tom and Serenity in that order, and then I won every single one afterwards. Um, I'm just good with like that. Like after a warm up, like I'm just super good. <laughs> uh, Axel, Tom, when? Uh, maybe when I get fired. <laughs> Um, but yeah, like it was, it was really fun. Like uh, the the fucking what is it called? The the air hockey, the the the, the disc of the air hockey was kind of faulty. It was like jumping around all the time. So yeah, it's not ideal. But yeah, I I won every single match uh, from the third match that I did onwards. Um, there was also this uh, hammer thing. Uh, well, let me let me do things slightly different. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do it with my racket. One moment. I need a moment. <laughs> One moment. Okay. So obviously this racket uh, weighs like a fucking hundred times less. But I'm gonna do the movement. So there was this uh, like hammer event, or not event, but you know, place where you get. Uh, let me let me just do it like this. Uh, had the, the there was a place with a hammer, okay. And uh, me and Serenity, well, and Tom also, but uh, not the second time. Uh, we uh, participated in that. I think the record was like eight hundred and eighty-six. Was it? I think. And, you know, I'm not, like, particularly strong, but uh, I do, do, I do, like, figuring out the technique, so what I did is basically, like, use it like as if, if it was a sword, and, you know, use the momentum, like that, more or less, but, you know, more, more movement, but I don't have that much space here, it was, like, you know, uh, I'm not gonna say it was the optimal movement, but it was pretty efficient, considering, Considering the max, um, the max score was eight eight six. I think for my strength to get seven hundred and thirty eight, I think it was. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, Serenity got like seven hundred and seventy around there. Oh, maybe seven eighty. I don't remember. But you know, it was it was really good. Um, you know. I never, I never said that I was uh, very strong, but um, I do know my body mechanics. <laughs> you, Tom can tell you that. Um, what else? What else with it? Um, I think this was on the second day, but I played uh, Thymesia in the in the in the place. I I w I was playing it for like twenty minutes. Um, then I. Uh, 
she lot came in and I was, uh, was like, oh, yeah, yeah, like, I've beat this already and whatever. Like uh, he tried to beat it and he couldn't for uh, and after like 10, 15 minutes something like that, I I got in there again. I noticed that uh, there was no sound for whatever reason and I got a first try. I only got hit once and because. Well, I don't remember exactly what happened, but I was basically, I had figured out the whole thing and I think like this is just the sound was distracting me on, on my previous attempts. But yeah, it was actually pretty easy. I think, I don't know, I might play Thymesian at some point. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, besides that, I met some other people. Uh, some people that I knew before, some people that I didn't know before. Um, for the people that I knew before, Ella, you know, Ella Jazz, Maral. Um, there was also Catalyst, who was there as well. CB Ruffle was there. Um, who else was there? Like? Oh, yeah, Zero, Call Me Zero was there as well. Um, I think that's it for people that I already knew. And then, you know, besides the ones that I have already mentioned, there was also Pay, um, there was Yabo and Jarthal which you know i know both of them from twitch but i didn't know personally uh and they also knew that like it wasn't just uh just me going there and they didn't know actually did i find anyone that i i don't think i found anyone that i didn't know about before like like yeah like for example i try yo what is that purple welcome um I tried to find two people in particular uh, that I didn't end up finding. I didn't really try hard, I should have maybe gone around the place a bit more. Uh, but yeah, there was two people that I didn't see. Um, but you know, they, th those were the, like those two people that I didn't, uh, that I wanted to find and I didn't see were the only ones that didn't really know about me. So it really was just. Uh, I met with people that I knew, I really knew about, and they knew about me, <laughs> basically. <laughs> um, okay, what else? What else is there? Uh, oh yeah, we on the second day we or uh, we played uh, some um, fighting games. I don't know, like fighting games is kind of odd because it seems like they all have to do this kind of like directional move, like uh, the joystick like depending on how you move your, your joystick you're gonna do a different attack I never like that one but yeah I did uh, I did some of that with uh, Tom and Serenity yeah um we ate some pizza there yeah I don't know as, as far as the event itself I don't feel like there's much more worth to talk about. Oh yeah, uh, fucking Shilot went uh, went to a uh, um, HyperX uh, event. Yo, what is that, Tony? Welcome. Shilot went to a HyperX event, uh, like a competition or whatever, and he did a plank for eight minutes in order to get, win some headsets. I would have tried it, but I didn't. Like when I went there after after I saw him, uh, like in, on Discord, like he was telling me about it. Uh, I went there and I didn't see where to do it, so and there was like a queue for like some laser stuff, but it was way too big and uh, eh, not worth it. Um, but yeah, I kind of wanted to try that because I I do planks every now and then. Um, I don't know, I don't know if I would have been able to do it. I think so. I'm pretty stubborn. Oh. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh yeah, did she not even get to to try the the hammer thing? Yeah, the, the line for the fucking laser was too long. Uh, I also tried some uh, Hollow Knight thing. I, I didn't play the first one. It's it's okay. I don't, I don't know. It's it's a bit too simple in my opinion, but it's okay. It's just that right now there's a ton of games that is like, oh yeah, it's pretty cool. But the, the hard part is, oh yeah, is it cool enough to pay for it? <laughs> That's that's my issue. That's my issue. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, I I should start getting paid by YouTube now or Google, whatever. Um, depend. Well, I need the confirmation because I, there were some issues with the with some stuff that I set up and a while ago, a few months ago. Um, 
And I think I fixed those. Uh, so we will see. We'll see. Anyways, uh, that's gonna be it for the event. I think like I didn't really take many pictures of the event. I should have made more, but whatever. Um, outside of the event, I think we're happening the, the most interesting parts, honestly. And, which is one of the reasons why I say like about TwitchCon itself, like the event itself. Yeah, it was okay. It was cool, but. It was the rest that was cool, I guess. I prefer to just do the rest. You know, not, not have to pay like a uh, 100 plus euros for, for the event on the two days. Which, by the way... Oh yeah, the mini fridge. Well, the mini fridge thing was kind of... Eh. It was like a... It was a place where you could do like... You could throw a ball into one of those places that like go from side to side. And uh, you know, end up in like several separate uh, places. But yeah, if you got into the middle one, you won, and you had the chance to either uh, leave and and get uh, some uh, random smaller uh, prizes, or do it again and try to get the mini fridge, uh, the Xbox mini fridge. You know, they made the meme real. Um, the issue is that they were using some kind of... It, they weren't tennis balls, it was like... I don't know what it was, it was not paddle and not tennis balls, it, or maybe if they were like they were not, they were like mini tennis balls, whatever. Uh, I know my tennis balls, they, those were in the, the normal ones. Um, but the issue with this kind of balls is that none of them, none of them are the same. Like they behave differently, uh, especially when there's been a while since they were, um, you know, released from the continent. Not toys, yeah, probably. I don't know. Like I'm gonna show you. Real quick. Uh, here I have two balls here. Okay. I don't know if it's gonna. Oh, let's see. Yeah, okay, it arrived there. Okay, that, that was on max. I'm gonna use the other one. See, like that one, it appears as well, but uh, this one appear here and the other one appear right here. And I haven't really used them. I haven't really used them. They were just out of the box or out of uh, the thing. So that means there's already a difference, even without the usage, just because they're, they're uh, tennis balls. So yeah, what I mean by that is that even if you see someone, say, uh, put it like right on the on the on the edge, you know, right on the edge, drop it. Just because uh, they have it like on on the on the spot, like they want it, doesn't mean that if you take another ball or even the same ball, because like, that's the, the other thing, put it on the same place, drop it the same way, that doesn't mean that it's gonna happen, like. It's, it's gonna you're gonna get a different result because for every bounce the the, the ball uh, is slightly different and you know between different balls that's another thing so you know it was actually very very unlikely for you to win that fridge I don't know if anyone won a mini fridge uh, when we wanted to try again like there was like uh, it was uh, all closed but yeah Anyways, let's move on to um, talking about uh, what happened outside. Uh, on the first day of the event, Saturday, okay, we left at uh, seven something. We went to uh, we wanted to eat dinner and also uh, go to the bowling alley. Uh, so we went to a bowling alley and restaurant place and. Let's just say that it didn't go too well, but it went okay. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we went to the bowling alley, and it, it turns out that it was full up until like I don't know what hour, but uh, it was full. So we said like, okay, let's just go to the restaurant then and eat. 
and uh, we did but it turns out that the <laughs> the chef was sick so they only had like margarita pizza um, tuna pizza and some other things I think there was also barbecue uh, I don't remember but yeah like honestly I don't think there was much of a difference between either of them they were like just the same thing with a bit of different toppings and that's it uh, so yeah we had to eat that uh, but it wasn't great uh, oh yeah also Serenity and Tom and did the, the photos with the with the chairs because they, they, they were like chairs uh, like kind of classic chairs like kind of uh, similar to royal and to novelty chairs it's kind of funny um but yeah after that uh we went to the uh to the cinema actually uh which was what um half an hour away or something like that um we went to watch uh for uh love and thunder and you know it was it had already started but it was only ads so you know it was okay and you know tom and serenity actually watched that movie for the second time and it was the first time for me that's why we saw it i was like you guys are sure like we could just check other movies if you want uh you know i'll just watch the other one later and they said that you know they wanted to, to watch it again and honestly i i i've heard it was like uh, there was a, a lot of critics, uh, you know, criticism on, on the movie, and honestly, the movie was great, much better than Thor one and two, and around the level of uh, Thor Ragnarok. I think it was really good. Maybe it's because you know, like, uh, we're talking about the seriousness and whatever. But I don't watch Marvel movies for the seriousness. I watch them to just fuck around and then make uh, some stupid jokes and uh, you know, have fun. You know, I, and I, those are not serious movies for the most part. And it's kind of like, uh, I guess it's kind of like One Piece in that sense. If you think about it, One Piece and Marvel movies are kind of similar in, in, in some sense. It's like a pretty big cast and they have a lot of funny moments. You have serious moments, sad moments, like they have a bit of everything. You know, the, the main difference is that One Piece is made by a genius and uh, um, Marvel movies are uh, not. But they're still pretty good. <laughs> they never. <nerd. laughs> I mean, One Piece is gonna end in like three years or something like that. I don't know exactly. I'm very, very excited to read uh, the next chapter that's, that comes out like either tomorrow or the day after. I wanna read that. It's probably gonna be pretty good, uh, but yeah, we watched it uh, and then we went to the hotel. Um, and you know, back then I was already like, uh, Trinity can uh, vouch for me on this. I was already complaining about my back. I, I actually forgot about uh, taking the, the ibuprofen thing. As you can see, I only took one. Like, I basically have four, but I only took one. Okay. Um, but yeah, like. Uh, the thing is like st standing around for so long and you know walking on a, an event or whatever doing queue it's really fucking bad for my back uh it, it always ends up complaining and i guess the uh, the fucking <laughs> the the bull and the and the hammer contest did not work uh in favor of that uh well i guess it did in favor of me having back pain Anyways, um, after that we went to we went to the hotel, and you know you know the rest. Like uh, uh, Arcas went on his own or whatever. Like the second gamer drug. Uh, I mean I could eat it right now. Uh, what is it? What is it? Order the drug. Yeah. So on the hammer place there was these things right here. Not a sponsored, by the way. You better pair me fuckers. Um, <laughs> no, it's, it's just uh, I'm just showing shit. Um, but yeah, there was these things, and there was another one which uh, had caffeine. Like this is just a, a supplement, and the other one is with caffeine. The fucking caffeine pill is trash. It tastes like shit. It's 
it's awful. And it's like, oh, then maybe this is good, and uh, you know, I'll get some caffeine, which I normally don't get uh, besides like just a cola. No, I'd rather drink like fucking three uh, bottles of uh, of um, of Monster and have a shit ton of stomach issues than eat that shit. It's, it was fucking garbage. But the, the, this one is actually not bad. Um, but yeah, like, uh, where were we? Yeah, uh, we came back to the hotel after watching the movie. Like I said, it was pretty good. Looking forward to, to the next one, I guess. Um, what else? Uh, so this... I joined, like I said, I joined the Saturday and Sunday things that happened inside the, the event. So now I'm going to talk about what happened after the, the event ended on, on Sunday. Uh, we went to the bowling alley because honestly, I don't know, man, we should have just informed ourselves a bit more with uh, of the event, I think. And they should make a, a better job at informing people about it, honestly. It wasn't like super great. So they closed at 6 and the previous day they, they closed at 7. So yeah, we, we, we went to the bowling alley uh, that we have a reservation for, you know, Sunday to play on um, uh, 7.30, but it was like 6.30 or not even that. Uh, but, you know, we managed to play. It was on uh, lane 16. Uh, and it went okay. Honestly, I won both, uh, both matches, uh, both uh, games, whatever. But I only did four strikes in total, and funnily enough, it was like on the second and third on the first one, and then on the tenth one, like uh, the first two. Like, I remember getting 100 and... scores around 150. No, this is what I mean, like, I got like, what, 104 and... 85 compared to like when i even like knew even less than that like it wasn't good i should have just honestly i should have just not used the spin too much anyways um i'm not i'm not flexing this is i'm just saying like i i told you the, the other day i think i don't care if i win or lose i care if i play well or not like if I feel like I'm doing good or not. Like if I if I win a match in tennis, for example, and I feel like I play like shit, I don't feel good. But if I lose a match and I play good, it's like okay, sure. I just need to improve a bit more. But I'm playing good. I feel like I haven't made mistakes, so I'm more happy than if I have. I mean, obviously, if if it's like a tourney, then it's different. But you know, I don't play tournament. And <laughs> the others are bad. I mean, I was the only one who played before. It was the natural result and I should have won for more. And Tom doesn't even play sports. <laughs> Anyways. Oh. <laughs> twinking IRL? I don't know what twinking is. I like I don't know what you mean by that expression. Um, so yeah, we did that. I want to I want to do more bowling. Honestly, I want to I want to do more bowling. Um. Anyways, I have some videos on um, on Twitter and on. Yeah, I think on Oriel's uh, Discord. For whatever reason, I, I couldn't uh, put it on my Discord. Basketball and volleyball, that's cool, yeah. How long ago was it? Stomp on beginners, damn, such. Forever ago. Yeah. All right, uh, what else? So what did we do after that? Oh yeah, we, we just went right next to, to it. Um, like not on the same place that we ate uh, dinner, 
but uh, you know uh, next to it we ate you know it's just a uh, burger or whatever didn't didn't you like uh make a mess like uh, there was like a, a juice everywhere with, uh, <laughs> with your burger i didn't have that issue and yeah after that oh yeah we're, we're basically um, we're going to the hotel and whatever right um we went to to the um, reception and with it i i beat their asses again at the air hockey um you know both arcas and um and tom um <laughs> the burger exploded there insane um and then uh we were looking for something like a tabletop game or something to play and we found some chess and you know i know some chess but um i'm not good at it and i haven't played much the first match uh, the, the first match i lost uh, i was playing against arcas by the way uh, but you know i dragged it quite a bit i, I dragged it quite a bit for being the first match like arcas uh, plays more that's what i mean um but then on the second match i i would say that i would i technically won i guess but it it was a draw it was big because i i basically cornered his uh king uh with um with my king and um, my tower or my rook yeah rook it was the full season of queen's gambit while well, i watched uh chess simp i actually recommended them the chess simp channel that channel is pretty good okay so now we're gonna fast forward we're gonna go fast forward we're just skipping the fucking sleep um so we went to sleep and um when i was waking up they knocked on the door and your joy pants you watch channel then <laughs> don't know what's going on i'm just talking about um TwitchCon or whatever like what we did at um, Amsterdam so yeah basically we thought that they would have the, um, the checkout at 12 12 p.m. right like uh, on, on noon and turns out did I meet? yeah yeah I met uh, Pim and Shalot did you see you don't follow me on Twitter? damn insane well, on Twitter or on Discord or wherever, you're not even sapped, such. Insane. Uh, anyways. <laughs> it's, it's whatever. Um, yeah, like they they knocked on like at 10 a.m. or something uh, for the checkout. And then they didn't think about just saying it before, but around 11 uh a uh, girl came and it's like uh you have to check out um we you didn't pay for the extra late uh checkout um and it would be 6 uh, 50 uh, for each um on the checkout and it's like uh but uh, can we just uh, pack things and, and leave now and check out now i said like sure but then make it snappy or like she was kind of rude considering but yeah um now we began to it <laughs> get out of we get the dogs it's like oh damn nice get we get to pet the dogs <laughs> no but she was like a uh, kind of uh, oh yeah i didn't even talk about the stupid fucking shower do you know do you know how a good shower is designed to keep um you know all the things uh all the water and whatever inside the shower so it's efficient at uh you know not making a mess out of things think the opposite of that this shower was designed to make everything a fucking mess 
Yeah, yeah, true, true. Um, so yeah, think about it the other way around. Everything is a mess. The 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 screen of it was like if this will okay if this is the um, if it is the the whole the full space like of uh, between wall and wall the screen was like this like half of it okay almost half of it and nothing uh below like it was just like this it was like this <laughs> are designed by people who don't shower. Yeah, I think they are designed by people who don't know what the fuck is a shower. Um, so think about it. Then, not only that, but the 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 shower head was like it didn't have a lot of beams of uh, like a lot of holes or whatever, but they were all very spread out. So instead of doing it like a roller shower like this, more or less, you know, like this, it was like this. It was like super wide. It was like, I swear it could be like between 60 and 90 degrees or yeah, I would say like maybe even between 70 and 90. It was something like this, like an insane wide angle for the fucking shower. So uh, like on the, on the right side while you're taking the shower, everything is spilling. And not only that, but the fucking give you a, um, what was it like uh, a mop? Or whatever. No, it was not a mop. It was like some some other thing. Uh, basically, so you could like uh, push the water from right next to the door, you know, the, the actual bathroom door, uh, to the place where it should be in the first place. Because there was not even a separation. Like you know how normally, like it's uh, there's like a a mini wall. Or something like between uh, the shower and the rest or maybe it's like lower no it was all the same level there was no separation all the same level cool great next time you're gonna design a, a fucking plane like uh, working like a, a fucking f1 like the other way around it's gonna stay on the fucking ground harder and harder as fast as you can Fuck. it was stupid it was so fucking stupid. Anyways, after that, after that we check it out, we went to um, right next to the hotel. It was like um, what was it? Some kind of like restaurant in a in a museum. There was like some optical optical effects or and whatnot. It was like um. You know the birth and the cage that are like on the other side of the coin. So in one, in one side of the coin you have the, you have the uh, the birth, and on the other side you have the the cage, and then you spin it and you get the the bird in a cage. They had that, and then they had another one with with like some kind of like um, gear, you know, like a disc with uh, like slots, and you spin it. And you look at the uh, the picture from uh, from the slot, and it's like a, a snakes moving in a, in a in a disc. Really cool, and some other stuff. Shower had no door or any separation from the bathroom. The floor was a little lower, but the water could quickly get deep enough to go into the bathroom and, and the roof itself. That is better designed than the one that we were in. <laughs> Anyways. Um, we we went to a restaurant there, which was like basically the only one around uh, to eat breakfast. Because we tried to go to eat breakfast, breakfast on the on the hotel, but it was already closed. Because apparently, for whatever reason, they close at eleven thirty in the, in the um, in the weekends, but in the in the rest of the the week they close at ten thirty because reasons. Um. And you know they didn't say that like uh, anywhere unless you were already in and you were looking for it. Um, so yeah, after that we went to uh, we went to the red light district and you know places around it. We just fucked around a little bit, did some pictures. Um, not not illegal pictures, just uh, normal pictures. And. 
Not as well when the restaurant closes, yeah. So yeah, we just took some... Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's fucked around a little bit. <laughs> and uh, after that we kind of have to just leave. First one to leave was Arcas actually. I And I found him afterwards. It was kind of funny. I found him af afterwards in the... Um, in the airport. We were in the airport and uh, I saw him. I don't know if you saw him, Tom. Uh, I don't think you did, but uh, you know, I saw him. And um, his partner. Anyways, um, as you may know, or maybe not, uh, there was a lot of fucking issues. Well, yeah, we like Serenity drove us to the airport, and uh, you know we say goodbye and whatever. And then after that, uh, I wanted to to eat uh, uh, I don't know something with Tom before we went to the check in or the queue or whatever. Um, but you know, like I, I I really wanted to go to the bathroom, so I went there, and then Tom was like. Um, I'm just gonna go for the check-in or whatever, um, and we're gonna meet here. So then I want I get out of the of the of the bathroom, you know, the, of the toilet thing, you know. And um, then he sent me a message uh, saying like he was like doing the checkout and the check-in on the uh, for the flight, and I went to find him. And there was some, I don't know what was going on there. You may explain that better yourself, Tom. Uh, but yeah, we, we said, oh yeah, we're just gonna meet afterwards. And we didn't meet afterwards, actually. <laughs> so I went to basically the other side of the, of the terminal. I was on the terminal three, and then I had to go to the first one because there was a huge queue. I didn't have to check in because I only had like a backpack and a small enough luggage. Um, and yeah, like I went to the to the back of the queue, obviously, and they gave us a uh, right at the start of water. And then in the, in less than the middle of it, uh, they gave us a, a small pancake, like this thing, and also like very thin. Um, and then some uh, iced tea that was like 100 millimeters so it was like something like this super small it's like sure it's it's free and whatever but you didn't really try too hard huh like you, you didn't try too hard to to deal with this you just said oh yeah we're doing things it was enough but uh, could have been a bit more anyways uh, yeah <laughs> it was it was pretty ridiculous <laughs> Uh, no, 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 on the, on the queue, on the queue. I was on the queue for an hour and a half. I started at like, uh, I think it was four, maybe. And uh, I got past security at six. Anyways, they had the, like the, the, uh, the ones that rotate things. Uh, so yeah, I was kind of new. Um... And yeah, after that, is it was just normal, nothing really happening. They never hand out shit at ship, ship school. Yeah, of course. Like it was, you could tell that it was just because there was so much queue, and I heard that people were taking like three and four hours um, of queue. So I was, I kind of, it was kind of okay. But yeah, um, thankfully, I actually took an uh, ibuprofen here this thing for the back pain uh, back in uh, when we were in the well when we came back from the from the restaurant there that day because otherwise it would have been a fucking awful for me i mean i could have always just taken the, the water and, uh, and then ate took the, the pill there but 
it would have taken some time to take effect, so... I was already noticing that it was wearing out, but it wasn't that bad. So yeah. Um, yeah, after that we... You know, no issues on the plane or anything, and... Um, when I arrived, my... <laughs> it was funny because... I arrived like 10 seconds later than my parents arrived to like uh, next to the door <laughs> to pick me up. So that was kind of funny. But yeah, that's basically the, the misadventures of uh, of the TwitchCon uh, Amsterdam or um, Oh yeah, I guess I didn't mention it, but... Uh, Serenity's so car is like has like the, the front part, like the el parachoques, uh, the, the bumper, the front bumper, whatever. It's quick, it's pretty low, so he had to be super super careful uh, when there were like uh, bumps or whatever. Like <laughs> he had to go like twenty or less kilometers per uh, per hour in order to not scratch the the fucking bumper, you know, the, whatever the fuck it's called. Another great Thor adventure, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's about it. I'm also recording this for YouTube, so you guys can, if you guys can say hi to YouTube, YouTube, I cannot even fucking speak. Maybe because I have music right here, but you know where. So yeah, see you, YouTube.